the engines of Film Forum Manipur. First, the headlines. A week on Manipur Nagaland battle to tame Juko wildfire. One sample from Manipur returns negative for new UK COVID 19 strain. And two more tests positive for new coronavirus variant. Tally rises to 73. A very good afternoon. Welcome to Times of Manipur. You are watching news today at 1 p.m. And this is Hari Priyatongra. Before giving you the news in details, let's see the COVID awareness. As a responsible citizen, it is our duty to minimize the spread of coronavirus as much as possible. Wash your hands frequently with soap for at least 20 seconds. Using an alcohol-based sanitizer also helps keep the virus at bay. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Avoid stepping out unless absolutely necessary. Always wear a mask before stepping out and even in your own home, in the presence of outsiders, as masks have been proven effective in containing the virus. Maintain a social distance of at least 2 meters in public places. And now, the news and details. Amid the ongoing fires burning the Juko Belly, an ecological hotspot in the northeast region that says boundary with Nagaland and Manipur, both states are now struggling to those the raging fire. Fire at the Jukurian started in the southern Angami region of Nagaland on December 29 last and by yesterday had completely ravaged Manipur's highest peak, Mount Iso. Over the last eight days, however, the fire lighting teams have been able to control only 60% of the flames as high velocity winds continue to reignite fires and hamper operations. After taking up the issue of the deployment of additional National Disaster Response Force and DFRS forces with, with Ministry of Home Affairs MHA on last Tuesday, three additional teams arrived in Nagaland yesterday. The NDRF has deployed seven teams in the affected areas of Kohima District in Nagaland and Sanapati District of Manipur to assist the firefighters in the extinguishing the forest fire. In Manipur, a 28-year-old UK returnee, JC Haikruzam, has tested negative for UK variant at NIB Pune today, with 65 new COVID-19 cases recorded in Manipur in the last 24 hours. The total tally has climbed to 28,484. The first infection were reported from Imphal West, Imphal East, Thaubal, Bishnupur, Tamanglong, Churachanpur and Tangnopal districts. All the cases do not have any significant travel history. Manipur did not report fatality in the last 24 hours, while the death toll stands at 363. The cumulative number of active cases is 479, while the recovery cases are 27,642. The state's recovery rate is 97.04% as of now. Two more UK returnees have tested positive for the new coronavirus variant. The total number of UK returnees having tested positive for the new coronavirus strain has now mounted to 73 as informed by the Union Health Ministry. The results are based on the genome sequencing of positive samples released by the Indian SARS cov 2 Genomics Consortium INSA-COG labs. The INSACOC labs have been set up by the centers to monitor mutations in COVID-19. 
Over 33,000 people landed at different airports in India from the UK between November 25 and December 23. And now let's take a short commercial break. Do stay tuned for more updates. Smart Tutorial Center, admission open for revision course and foundation course 2021. For class 10, BOSEM and class 12, science and arts. Special fee concession for former students. Separate hostels for boys and girls. Run by well-trained teachers from Borton Council. For details, please contact Smart Tutorial Center, Singzami Supermarket. Saklon Ama Sumhat Laba Konjel Na Say Saktu Na Miyam Gi Thamoy Bu Pelhan Bangam Libi Lam Dam Sigi Chow Thok Chani Ngai Oiri Ba Say Sakpi Amani Jena Kumanthem Jena Kumanthem Bu Saklon Ama Da Lak Liba Janwari Gi Taang Maapan Numidangi Pum Taret Makhai Taba Matam Da Akhoi Na Poo Duna Lak Jara Gani Thauram Asi Da Saru Kya Bi Na Ba Soi Da Na Kol Tau Bira U Akhoi Gi Number 7629-943543 Say sakpi asiga hak teng na nawari sa bagi tanja fang batana tana adom na apam ba isay su kanbiu. Hi guys, this is Binakan. Welcome to Aura Career Launcher, a coaching institute for NEET and foundation courses. Let us draw principal axis. Point C. Like this, let's say this is the concave mirror. Ray, incident on the mirror from this point parallel to the principal axis. Now, after reflection, it will pass through the principal focus like this. Now, another ray. So, what are you waiting for? Join now. Australia, door on Sony. Live. Australia tour on Sony. Yes, live it is. Watch Australia versus India live. Four tests, 17th December to 19th January, only on Sony Sports Channels. Iram damasi dasu ano boy na world class machine si zinaduna. 20 steps refining eye testing the facility from Hanjari. Leo Lamlong Excellency Opticals, Kurai Lamlong Bazaar, Tinshit Road, Imphal East. Adom gi damakta kudong zaba si pijari. Adom gi mit lem na tes taujari amasung adom gi chana ba chuna ba len sing amadi frame sing da chada kun fawgi discount pijari. Leo Lamlong Excellency Opticals. Kurai Lamlong Bazar Tinchit Road Imphal East. Admission is going on at Private Sports Academy, Gowati and Ano Football Club, Gowati. Foreign coaches will train students at the academy. Hygienic food and hostel facilities will be available at the academy integrated with education. Those who want admission for under 13, under 15 and under 18 can contact the academy managing director. Our contact number is 602 Six seven zero nine two seven nine or seven zero zero five two three five six three eight. Kanghan Jaba Lamzing Ba Finance to Gi Loan Lobi Kiba Loni Singa Tidok Tana Lady Ba Diu EMI Sing Atuba Matam the Tidok Binaba Kanghan Jari Matam Chan EMI Singa Si Tidok Biduna Miam Githogal Matolon Tona Bona Jabada Matin Pambi Kanghan Jari Ba Lamzing Ba Finance Nagamapal Rims Road Infal Amadi Uripok Brands Infal Welcome back. India added 20,346 coronavirus cases today as the overall number of cases in the country near 1.04 crore, the health ministry's data showed. The, num the number of fresh infections reported today were 12% higher than yesterday. In this period, India reported 222 deaths linked to the virus, taking the total number of fatalities to 1,50,336. The total number of people who have tested positive for the new UK strain of coronavirus in the country now stands at 73, according to the Health Ministry report. Kerala, the worst affected state in the country, has reported 65,252 active cases. 
Maharashtra with a slight improvement with 51,969 active cases reported this morning. Delhi has 4,481 active cases, 613,246 recoveries and 10,625 fatalities according to the Health Ministry. India has reported over 1.5 lakh deaths so far. A man was arrested for possessing 14 grams of illicit heroin at Kongman Mangzil in Imphal East yesterday. He has been identified as Nomai Tim Benson Singh as 31 years of in Biren Singh of Kaisam Tong Khodam Lairak in Imphal West. The arrested along with the seized drug was handed over to the officer in charge of Irilbung Police Station, a police report said. It said Subdivisional Police Officer SDPO Lamlai and Officer in Charge Narcotics Shell Infall East Inspector Kehis Deep Kumar Singh led the operation. A man rescued two three burned oils at Huidrom Lekai Nandaibam Primzit of Kurai Kongpal Sarzur Lekai in Imphal is later handed over the burned oils to people for animal PFA Thobal. With the avian influenza, commonly known as bird flu, wreaking havoc in several states across the country, Meghalaya has prepared a set of standard operating procedures SOPs to prevent outbreak of the disease. As a precautionary measures, the Meghalaya Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Department is likely to release a set of SOPs and guidelines to be followed to prevent the outbreak of bird flu in the state. The Meghalaya Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Department is also mewing to carry out mass killing of poultry if bird flu breaks out in the state. Meanwhile, the center is keeping a close watch on the, break, on the outbreak of the disease. The center has alerted the local authorities in the states where the bird flu disease broke out to raise surveillance on 12 epicenters where thousands of birds died in the last few days. The center has further asked the states to step up containment measures. However, no human case relating to bird flu has been reported so far. The India-Bangladesh border in Assam's Karimganj town will be sealed by the means of smart fencing. This decision was taken by the Assam government, a media report said. Smart fencing will include advanced surveillance system and alarm gadgetry. Smart fencing will be used to seal the unfenced part of the international border between India and Bangladesh in Karimganj town of Assam. A stretch of 4.5 kilometers of India-Bangladesh border in Karimganj town will be sealed by the means of smart fencing. Notably, the border guards Bangladesh BGB had objected to physical fencing of the Indo-Bangla border in Karimganj town. Here we have another short commercial break. Do stay tuned. Prince Tutorial Center. Admission open for the foundation course for class 9 and 10. Special features, day boarding facilities, separate hostel for boys and girls, maintaining social distancing, well experienced teachers. Last date for admission 10 January and classes will be commenced from 12 January. Contact number 9862325768. Manipur Amadi, Manipur Yiwang Madahangba, Manipur Development Financial Investment Gate, Anoba Brand Singhi Ahangba from Karalau Zaragani. Firm Singh Adudi, BDO, PO, Loan Officer, Loan Inspector, Customer Relationship Officer, Recovery Officer, Amadi, Recovery SNE. Firm Singh Asada applied to Kinimba Singh na January Kunhumdoi, Lisigini Kunmatu Yimamanda, Form Thazin Biraknabak Nanjari. Manipur Development Financial Investment Gi Brands Kudimakta, Form Singh Fung Biragani. Akupa Marol Gidama Contact to Biro. Manipur Development Financial Investment, Kaisampat Kaisamlikai Impal. Contact number 9612-444089. Natraga 8974-339-623. Now, enjoy 20% extra 
on Kangla Popcorn, Kangla Milky Balls and Kangla Rings. Kangla. Tom Cable ki subscriber sing the Kangan Jari Madudi, subscriber sing na channel suna amadi ayet apan yao dhani yengbi naba recharge to view. Pizza riba package sing the basic package ta lupa chani amadi atopa package sing the lupa chahum yang khai chamri amadi chamri yang khai pijari. Recharge to unubagi damak makha da pijari riba kutang ahum asidagi khan biyo. Ahan bada online recharge. Online the recharge to unubagi damak tomtv.co.in the chambi duna yam na laiba process ta recharge to view. Ani Subada Distributor Recharge. Isa Isagi Distributor Sing the monthly subscription summit to Viduna Recharge to View. Natraga Ahum Subada Office Recharge. Uripo Kosnam Lekai the Leiba Tom TV Office the Lakduna Recharge to View. Kangan Jariba Tom Cable Uripo Kosnam Lekai Infall. Ekoye contact number 89742790999. Natraga 81320897582. Kan benung lain nuksit kaya lak la besu. Apik penat raga acau bayum oi la besu. Paglang sina pun namak mayuk na bengami. Yam na kalli amadi cahi kaya acat li. Barak veli gi masak oi riba. Akan bagi atau pemaming amu oi riba. Very strong semen. Very strong, very strong. Welcome back. Supporters of U.S. President Donald Trump breached a cap Capitol building in Washington, D.C. yesterday in an attempt to stop the U.S. Congress from rectifying the Electoral College bot that would officially confirm Joe Biden's victory over Donald Trump. According to media reports, Trump's supporters created chaos that resulted in rioting and violence, forcing world leaders to condemn the ugly sins. The Capitol building houses the U.S. Congress and is the seat of legislative branch of the U.S. government, reports added. Around 4.15 uh, a.m. Indian Standard Time, U.S. officials said they successfully secured the Capitol building following a four-hour confrontation with pro-Trump rioters. The Capitol Police is now in the process of dispersing Trump supporters from the site, officials added. Despite the presence of officers in full riot gear, dozens of Trump supporters were seen violating the curfew ordered by Washington Mayor Muriel Bowser. Meanwhile, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence reconvened the U.S. Congress to certify President elect Joe Biden's electoral college win once the Capitol building was clear on Trump supporters. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed distress over the news about rioting and violence in Washington, D.C. last night. Prime Minister Modi called for an orderly and peaceful transfer of power, adding that the democratic process cannot be allowed to be subverted through unfolding protests. And now let's move to sports news. Biju FC has lifted the trophy of first 7 a site open football tournament organized by KV New Star Ketri Bengun Lekai. Biju FC defeated SWIC Kairang FC by 1 0 in the final match. Allah Sheikh Nurul Hassan, Deputy Secretary, Works Government of Manipur and CEO WAKF Board Sheikh Abdul Hakim, MCS, Pradhan of Ketri Gao Part 1. Mohammed Fazur Rahman, Pradhan of Ketrigao Part 2, Mohammed Abdul Kwadus and Wat member Mohammed Salam were present at the prize distribution ceremony. And before we close, let's see the top news headlines once again. A week on Manipur Nagaland battle to tame Juko wildfire. Mm -hmm. 
One sample from Manipur returns negative for new UK COVID-19 strain. And two more tests positive for new coronavirus variant. Delhi rises to 73. That's all for the moment. Thank you very much for joining us and keep watching Times of Manipur News Update and have a good day ahead.